squash bugs. These creepy crawlies can be found throughout your garden, but especially on the melons and the squash. There are so many different types of these bugs, even one that looks like a type of ladybug. But don't confuse it with that beneficial bug because these insects can decimate your garden. But why are they so prevalent now? Dr. Majumbar of the Alabama Extension Office had this to say. So, so we had a, a, a drought definitely last year. But what we're calling the drought now is a flash drought because we did not have a season long drought. We had a, a major reduction in rainfall towards the end of August and then September. Uh, we definitely had uh, almost complete loss of rainfall uh, and the temperatures were extremely high. So temperatures were high back in 2019, but we're now in 2021. What I want to know from you, the viewers, please leave a comment below. Have you seen an increase in pests in your garden because of climate change? Jen of Sunshine Farms had this to say. I didn't realize we had a problem this year until I started to see some damage on my squash leaves and soon started to realize lots of clumps of squash eggs, squash bug eggs. They're tiny little orange or brown eggs or red eggs and they're all in a clump on the underside of the leaves most often. So here's some squash and as you can see, it's a little different, difficult to see, but you can see the squash bugs lay their eggs in clusters and when you come around, the adults hide. So how do you get rid of them? Jen had a great idea. I had seen friends of mine use mason jars wrapped in tape to collect the squash bug eggs, but I didn't have any tape that would work well for that. And I just thought quickly and was like, huh, I wonder if a lint roller would work. Sure enough, it works, as evidenced by all those squash bug eggs. And not only does it work for squash bugs, it also works for the squash bug larva or tiny little baby squash bugs. And it kind of squishes them and kills them really quickly. Sounds mean, but it has to be done if you want to grow your own squash. I'm going to take you around to some plants that I haven't looked for squash bugs on yet. See if we can find anything, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure we will. idea works great but what if you don't have one I don't have one well you can also use some duct tape some masking tape even some painters tape so all you do is you take the tape and you wrap it around your fingers like this and then you gently press it onto the egg cluster. Make sure you do it gently so you don't tear the leaves. And then the eggs stick to the tape. So you're gonna, you will have to look for the parents and try to get rid of them. But as you can see on this tape, there are nymphs on there with their little antennas. 
So you want to get all of them, the eggs, the nymphs, and this does take time, but it's the best way to organically get rid of these squash bugs. And you will need to check them every day and then just fold the paper, the tape over and get throw it away. I want to thank you for watching our squash bug video and please subscribe to this channel because we are also going to have a series on how to grow great tomatoes and I don't want you to miss that video. So I'll see you later.